We are back with more on WHHI News. And joining me now is Town Councilman Alex Brown. He represents Ward 1. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Wow, you have a lot going on. I checked out the agenda for the Town Council meeting next Tuesday. Um, a lot of stuff is happening. Also, all the um, associated documents, it's over like 140 pages. That's right. So I have a whole new respect for all our town council, may I tell you. But I know you just came back, as you were telling me before we started, um, with the two-day strategic meeting that the town council sure. does. Uh, highlights, as far as your perspective, how'd it go, and, and what are we looking at really focusing on? Sure. Well, um, I had a great time during the two-day event, and... Uh, of course, we've got new council members that have never been through that exercise before. And um, the, the team building portion of it, I think, uh, screamed loud and clear that, you know, we may have different on some opinions, but sure. as far as coming together with, you know, 15 or so priorities, we were all on the same page and wanting to get those done as expeditiously as possible. Right. And as you look at the agenda for Tuesday's meetings, you'll see that we're already starting to plow through some of those uh, discussions and policy right. changes that we need to make. And uh, I know uh, one issue that is near and dear to your heart and very important is growth on the island. Yes. Um, so tell me what kind of discussion did you have around that? Sure. Where are we right now and, and what do you think town council, how's it going to address the whole issue? Yeah, well, the priority comes across as a, uh, you know, us developing a growth framework, okay? Okay, sounds <laughs> and, um, good to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm emphasizing on the framework because, you know, as Hilton Head gets closer and closer to build out, you know, we have to be very strategic with our Absolutely. decisions as to what's going to happen, okay? Uh, so, you know, we've got challenges in some areas like Jonesville where, um, you know, overdevelopment is coming into an area that is at capacity, mm -hmm. right? Um, but then we also look at areas like Northridge, Plaza and Sea Turtle, um, those places that are in need of a little incentive to sure. redevelop, right? I know. Uh, so, yeah. so, so balancing those and really coming up with strategies and uh, creating spaces for public and private investment is going to be critical for absolutely. us moving forward and being sustainable. And and workforce housing again oh, goes along with that. Sure. I had someone say to me a couple of weeks ago, why don't we take some of the dilapidated and kind of empty retail space sure. here and think about doing something with workforce housing. But I know the council's trying to address that issue too. Yeah, so the great growth framework is going to uh, have uh, LMO a changement. The land, land management, management ordinance yes. is broken in a lot of ways, okay? Yes. Um, and, and we need to, to make some changes. So, you know, we'll, we'll be challenged with changing areas like Jonesville that are, right. at, at this point, too much. Sure. And then areas like Northridge that, that need a little help, and, right? And for people that aren't familiar with Jonesville or the latest update, I mean, there was a plan to build some 140-something, right, sure. units sure. there. Sure. Or, and, and the residents said, hey, wait a minute, the town has actually bought the land? Yes, on one of the projects. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you have to understand that there's, uh, you know, there, there's some raw land in Jonesville left. Okay. Right. That is in private hands, and um, you know, the, the, according to our land management ordinance, there are property rights that come along with owning that land. Right. right? So you know, we've got to be very uh, strategic about how we balance that so that it doesn't get to a point where. Um, it, it's not just affecting the quality of life for the residents, mm. but you talk about safety, oh, yeah. the environment, and that sort of thing. So, you know, we've, we've got to be aggressive as, as, as to curbing the development. I mean, you in that all area. Have, have some big challenges ahead oh, sure. of you. Um, I know you're meeting next Tuesday. What's the time again? I know you welcome people into town council, sure. but, but you want them to submit if they the, the fact that they may want to address the council beforehand, sure, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, 3 p.m. And if you want to talk to, uh, us as a council, yeah. you do have to register through the town clerk right. to get okay. on the appearance by citizens. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we let you go, any other huge priorities? I mean, that's a big one for you that you see the town council addressing this session. Sure. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say that any of the priorities overweigh each other. Okay. Okay. And, and as we went through the strategic planning process, we realized that we went through a lot of work last year. We got just about everything we set out to get Good accomplished you, done, okay? So I'd yeah. like to have that happen again in 2023. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we wish you the best of luck. Sure. Um, you, Alex, it's great to see you again, Alex Brown, and uh, we'll have you back again, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. Great. And we will be back right after this.